Okay, so hi everybody, I'm back. Um, I'm gonna do um, two wig reviews today. Um, but first I wanted to show you um, this headband. Um, this is the headband that I was talking about that um, I use to secure my hair back instead of a wig cap, only because the wig caps slip off my head really quick. Um, I don't secure my wigs in. I, I don't use combs or anything to secure them in. And I probably will once my hair gets a little bit longer and it's actually giving it something to secure into. But anyways, it's just a little, it's a simple um, cloth band, it's stretchy. And then if you can see on the inside, it's got this, you can see that strip, it's like a rubber strip. And it, it kinda, it, you know, it, it makes it so that it doesn't slip as much. They do start to wear after a while and get a little bit bigger and kinda stretched out. And all you have to do for that is um, turn them inside out um, and then take it to where you want it and like re-sew it, just hand sew it across so that um, it's smaller in size but I haven't had to do it to these yet because they're new so anyways that's the headbands that I use and I've got one in right now to hold back my hair as you can see the brown one and they work really good so anyways today I've got a wig review for um, Bobby Boss it's a Bobby Boss wig and it is called the style is M567 Kona and the color is 1010 <clears throat> And here's the, um, the, the tag for it. Um, there you go. It's a little bit blurry, but you'll just have to trust me on this one. It, this, that's the style. M547, or M567, and it's in a color 1010. Um, it's not a lace front wig, it's just a regular wig, so it doesn't, you know, you don't have to fuss with the, the uh, lace or anything. You know, I like lace wigs, but I, but I also like just regular wigs. And it came in this bag, just a clear plastic bag. And then um, it has this little paper or cardboard wrap around it that says Bobby Boss all the way around it and then this is the wig it's nice and full and you know fluffy and full and then inside it it's filled with paper just to keep it you know it's nice round shape all right so I'm gonna flip it inside out and and show you guys the construction of the inside of it okay it's a, a tight, it's a small cap. The fit is really small. Um, but as you can see, like on the front, it says Bobby Boss. And then it's got like, it's a fine lace, um, you know, kind of uh, fancy design on the front, like just thin lace. And then on the sides, it's like a medium lace. It's not as fine. And then in the back, it has the adjustable tabs, which, uh, you know, maybe I'll put it on the first one. I don't know. But, um, we'll figure that out later. Because I don't want to fumble too much. Um, anyways, um, this wig is really super curly. And it's a great color. I, like I said, I didn't know what color this was going to be when I got it. I thought, I didn't know what 1010 one was, but I was kind of curious about it. Um, cause I'd always seen a lot of the wigs. They didn't come in the blonde that I wanted. So, and they always came in this 1010 and I'm really glad that I actually got it. So anyways, I'm going to put the tabs in the adjustable straps in the back, and then I'm going to try it on and show you guys what it looks like. And, and by the way, I got this from house of beauty world, um, dot com. And I'll put the price and, and everything, all the information down below so you guys can go check it out <clears throat> okay oh slip back out again all right here goes you guys I'm gonna have to work with it a little bit because it's a nice full wig I mean when I say full I mean full okay putting her on to 
a gesture in the back. Pull her down. Pull her back. And then this way. Um, wait, let me see. I've already had her on. Um, so what I can say about this wig is that it's very comfortable. Um, the cap, I have no, um, I have no, the straps are just set on the first, um, the first slot. Um, it does have the adjustable ear tabs on the side, the metal adjustable ear tabs. Um, and she's really curly, super pretty. Now I know there's a lot of people out there who swear by um, um, altering their wigs when they get them. They think that it's just wrong to take them out of the package and shake and go. But I mean, that's what I buy wigs for. I don't buy them so I can bring them home and cut them up and you know, it's time consuming and that's just not what I wanna do. So um, when I buy a wig, I, I'd expect it to be pretty much wearable out of the package. I mean, you know, I, I know that you have to style them you know to like this one I had out and put on and pulled it to the side so that you know I, I got a style down with it and I finger combed it so I could pull some of the curls out because they were really tight but um, I like big hair and um, it doesn't bother me that it's it's big you know um, but um, she's got if you could see the colors in it really really pretty it's like a um, a really soft light brown and then the platinum blonde streaks in it and some of the blonde is very it's like a three-tone blonde in this wig um, and I will not be cutting it I I thought originally when I first put her on that I was gonna be cutting her but I will not be cutting her um, so um, like I was saying like right now I have a fan um, blowing around in my room and I can feel the, f the the air going through the cap I can like it's got nice circulation is what I'm trying to say like most of the time you put a, a, a wig on and it's very hot under there and this is nice and light and airy it's a, a good um, a good summer wear wig is what I think um, you could get away with wearing this in pretty pretty warm weather you know but um, so that's this one and like I said I'll put all the information down below and um, just let me know let me know what you think um, and hopefully you guys will uh, like this this one as much as I do uh, see you all later bye